I know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we get in baddies over here. All right, but look, this is what to do when she breaks no contact. She breaks it, not you. You been staying strong. You went the minimum 30 days. Or maybe it's not even been 30 days. It could have been 17 days. It could be five days. I don't know how many days it is, but she done broke it. Now she tempting you. Now you on edge. You're like, Missy, bro, what do I do? Do I just text the back? Call her? Make a date? This is my shot. This is my opportunity. I'm gonna break it down. Here's a couple of situations, couple scenarios. If she broke the no contact before your 30 day minimum, <laughs> Um, time limit. What you need to do is let her know. I need space right now. I'll get back to you. Boom! Because look, I don't want you guys to completely ignore her. Yes, you're doing the no contact. You're not supposed to contact her. But this is assuming that she's not going to contact and reach out to you. But she reached out to you. But as a man of your word, and as a man on his mission, you need that time, not just because you're doing this to get her back. You need that time for yourself to figure yourself out if this is even the right person to be with. So don't, you don't have to completely ignore her, but you're letting her know, I'm not here to chit chat. I gotta get on my ground, I need my time to myself. I need things to focus on other than you. So you're letting her know, hey, I need I need time to myself. Talk later, whatever it is. Cause look, you need that, that, that stretch. Clear your mind, figure stuff out, get on your grind. But let's say it's after the 30 days. She reaching out to you. This is exactly what you need. This is exactly what you want. You're not supposed to be reaching out. A lot of you guys, for some reason, think, okay, well, I did the, the minimum time of no contact, so now I can contact. No! You're not supposed to ever contact. That's the thing. So the time goes by, she reaches out, because you're not reaching out, even if it's 90, 100, a million trillion days later. She reaches out to you first. That's always what it's supposed to be. So she broke the no contact. You could set a time to meet up if that's what she wants. You could contact her back, yes. Keep it short. Keep it sweet, straight to the point. Hey, how, how you been? Haven't heard from you in a minute. Yeah, because you broke my freaking heart. That's why. Don't say that. <laughs> hey, everything's good. Been busy. That's it. You ain't even have to ask her how she been. She gonna be expecting that. A lot of times women break no contact not because they seriously want to be with you or want to see how you've really been and you know, they, they want to know why you haven't contacted them. That's the real reason. Let's give it a step. They want to know why for you to be begging for them and pleading for them back. They thought they had it like that. They thought they had that control over you. Well, guess what, sweetheart? You don't. You're a man on his purpose. Alpha Andy's being alpha. You're on a mission. You're doing something different. You don't got time for that. That's that's the past. A lot of women don't want to see themselves as the past, even when they put themselves in that position, in that place. Look, you broke up with me, baby. You are now the past. I'm focused on my present and future. So now they're gonna come back around, try to make sure they still got a spot and place in your life. Make sure you haven't really moved on, but it's not real. It's not genuine. It's not authentic. It's not what you need. It's not the energy you need in your life. And guess what? I'm going to let you learn. My brother, I'm gonna let you learn. Yeah, you can reach out. You can. She wants to set a day. It has to be her that wants to set a time to see you. You keep it short, you keep it sweet. She has to be the one initiating, hey, we should hang out. She does that, cool. It's on your schedule. Hey, let me see uh, when I'm free. I'll get back to you. Oh my God. No, he did not just let me know. He's busy. He ain't got time for me. I'm secondary option. Yes! Like I keep saying, you put yourself in that position, baby girl. You are no longer a priority. So why would I prioritize my time, my valuable, precious time, the time I need to be getting on my grind? Get in the bag. Inviting in energy of women that actually respect and honor me. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate me. 
for somebody that doesn't, somebody that fumbled. Because don't get it messed up, my brother, she fumbled you. It's not the other way around. She might think it is because she's so used to it. It's called entitlement. But you ain't one of them suckers that's going to entitle her. <laughs> Look, you can reach back out. You can. Once she reaches out to you. Let's be clear. Um, keep a normal, cordial conversation. You do not want to come off looking like you're hurt. So don't be doing any petty stuff. Oh, wow, good to see you finally reached out. Or, wow, you want to hang out with me now? After all, nah, none of that. You passed that. You're better than that. You manning up. It's not even phasing you that she reached out. You almost looking at it like, oh my God. This is kind of annoying. I was just getting over you. Also, another thing, going into texting and reaching out, make sure you still do the uh, the text rules. She texts you, you wait at least 10 to 30 minutes to text back. You ain't texting back right away. And then once she texts you back after that, however long she took to text you, you double that number and then text her back in that amount of time. But don't do it exactly. Oh, she texts me back in five minutes, so I'm gonna text her back exactly in 10 minutes. Don't make it obvious. Just see it and then just go about doing whatever you were doing because you should already be busy with something else. It shouldn't be like you literally sitting here. All right, well, I gotta wait. This is the longest minute of my life. No! You're not even worried, but you sting. Okay, cool. You're doing your own thing. Whatever you was doing. Because now you have a lot of free time. You have a lot of spare time that you did not have before. So that should be prioritized. That should be number one. And then all of this is just, oh, okay. She want me. You shouldn't be a surprise. You a likable dude. She liked you in the first place, right? Now you bossing up and you leveling up. Of course you're going to want to come back around. Who would it? Anyways, apply this to you guys' life. Let me know how it goes. And um, good luck. <laughs> that is it for the video for today. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning With Women. Copy some Cancel The Wedding Drip. CancelWedding.com. And until next time, focus on... You and the women will too. I know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, 